As the world comes to grips with life under this deadly new virus, authorities have urged us to change our habits and adopt a new way of life. This you already know, but what might surprise you is that your new lifestyle is an Islamic one. Muslims believe that the Quran is both a holy text and a guide on how to live a healthy and productive life. Nearly all of Muslims' daily activities, whether that be praying, fasting or the clothes they wear, have been recommended in the Quran or by the Holy Prophet Muhammad. And for years, many of these practices have been ridiculed by non-Muslims who accuse them of being backwards, weird or straight-up offensive. But now, whether you like it or not, we all have to behave like a Muslim. For starters, pubs, clubs and casinos have all been closed. In some cases, medical experts urged for a complete halt on alcohol consumption because it makes the virus worse, prompting some countries to ban its sale outright. People are prioritizing hygiene and washing more regularly throughout the day, just as Muslims wash before their five daily prayers. It's even become socially acceptable not to shake hands, a typical Muslim practice between men and women, which was often branded insulting in Western culture. Elsewhere, people are now beginning to cover their hands, hair and face in order to protect oneself in public, including those who at one time or another used to insult Muslim women for choosing to do the same thing. If the well, it's, it's it's you know, you can use a scarf. A scarf is... Everybody, a lot of people have scarves, and you can use a scarf. Scarf would be very good. And I, my, my feeling is if people want to do it, there's certainly no harm to it. Uh, I would say do it, but use a scarf if you want. Even Islamophobic governments, which blanket banned the Muslim burqa, can now be seen adopting masks, which makes them look more Muslim than ever before. European countries like Austria have gone as far as to make face covering compulsory by law. And the face veil, excuse me, covering, has turned out to be so beneficial that London aims to make it compulsory for all in shops and on public transport going forward. And there's more. On the economic front, interest rates have been slashed to near 0% in some cases, which is exactly what Islam teaches. Muslim families also self-isolated naturally for prayers and fasting during Ramadan for an entire month, while non-Muslims massed on British beaches. Now, you may ask, what's the point in bringing this all up? Well, the fact is, Muslims have been subjected to years of hate just because they love their faith. It's worth highlighting that it took a global pandemic to prove that Muslims have been right all along. And perhaps it's Western values which need reforming rather than Islamic ones. Remember that the next time you have something nasty to say about Islam.